Yeah. Okay. It was awful. Anyway, on to Moving into game one. He's, He's playing Zelda now. Not Pokemon Trainer. He's or I, Zelda. Neither of the characters he played against me. Zelda promises to do pretty well in this matchup, actually. Uh, I see the advantages she has. Uh, can just kind of... Ooh. Just going to kick this man. Yeah, against tall characters, Zelda does get kicks out of shield, which is obviously extremely potent. Uh, but Rob has a lot of moves that are pretty safe, so yeah. you're not going to get that too much. Like the infamous neutral aerial. Neutral aerial down tilt? Can we talk about down tilt? Let's see how Dill plays it. It's and more move. importantly, let's see how... Uh, look at that move. Wow, look at him just kick this man. Ripple. I think all of his damage has been on kicks so far. Nah, he definitely hit him with an air, too. Ooh, okay, but Dill's going to slice him with his own. No, barely going to survive, but he gets sniped. Nice. Wow, gets on the other side. Wow, that is him. cheese, bro. This guy's the cheese master right now. I'm with uh, him. He's going to down throw. We're going to see how this 50, guy can 50. mash. He can't mash. Okay, Dill knows that for later. Why does Dill do that up air instead of the up tilt? Is there a reason? Do you know numbers? Because the up tilt might miss that. No, it's because the up tilt might get the sweet hit that launches them too far for up air to work. Ah, okay. I see it now. And But good DI, he would have survived that up air, right? So what's going to be important is how Johnny on the spot, Hugh, is on reflecting Dill's uh, gyros and projectiles. Uh, that kind of important, but I, I think it's more a big deal how you maneuver around them. To get I know. In. Because, so like, important. you can reflect them, and it's like, cool. That's just you, because when you play against projectile characters, you switch to be Sword Fighter, and you're using the swipe. But it's more important about how you move around the projectile well, and find depends. It's match your damage. Like, I'm thinking yeah. Zelda more has to try reflecting, because she's going to move around projectiles. Yeah. Miss, I can't move at all. He's also not using Phantom. That was the first Phantom I've seen all game, and it is one of... It carries Zelda literally solo handedly. That and yeah, he hasn't kicks against one out characters. Yet. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe he's worried he about. He did one. I he's guess probably worried about getting laser or gyro sniped. You still just throw it out. And yeah, he that could cancel. It yeah, he could quick. get in the way from. Mm -hmm. It's like what gyro? I got a fan. <laughs> did you see Rob like wiggle in place when he got hit there? Yeah, the weakest hit. That kick is so weak when he doesn't get the sweet spot. Okay, we're gonna see Dill. Probably gonna start searching for grabs. Anything off of the ledge trap here? Not gonna find anything. Nice. The fear of that uppy has to be in Dill's head after the first stock. Mm, he's letting him go early. I respect the attempt, but. Rob's downer is so scary at the ledge. Ooh. That move is. Nice idea. Potent. That's why we got the first stock, but Dill ready for it that time. I know, no, but Dill no got. No cheeky uppies. Dill got really important info. He's dead. The air There's no way weak. to avoid that. Could have just kept them fading in. Could have reflected the laser. But alright. He, he started fading out. He could have faded it. I'll respect please. Wow. Ooh, but uh, Dill, even with a little bit of sus DI, is going to not find his way off the side there. Back air. That did so much damage. Oh, it does so much. Rob does imp output crazy, crazy, crazy damage. Except for Florida. That move only does like eight. Yeah, because it comes into itself like three times. He's dead. He's this guy dead. cannot DI up air. He DI'd poorly. Both, both up airs Dill hit were sus as heck. So I was trying to say, well, let's watch this. Oh, wait, there was no instant replay. Never mind. Let's nah, go to There, there wasn't much then. to replay there, honestly. It was just up air. Like, do you want to watch Dill up air someone? No. No, neither do I. I want to watch Show game two. Show me the mix. I want to watch game two also. However, Dill did get really important information on that first game, and that is that Hughes mashing against Dill's down throw isn't up to snuff yet. Yeah. Dill will yeah. be able to get kills where he might not be able to against other players. Like me. <laughs> yeah, your mash is OD, bro. My mash is very simple. It, it, your mash is good. You tell me your mash isn't good. Your mash is good. No, my mashing is bad, but what I do for that specifically is something different. But I'll get to that after this game. Numbers mash is good, don't listen to it. But here is Final Destination. I love this song. Smash always got bangers going, dude. I know, but the Final Destination theme of Smash 4 didn't sound very good. No, you know what? The original Smash one. Smash 4 was cheeks. The remix was good. All right, on to the match. We see those kicks coming out. That's going to be... Yeah, so I got a lot of his early really damage last game. Look at just kicking him. Look at just kick this man. Yeah, the hitbox... Uh, traditionally, Zelda's kick hitbox has been completely non-functioning for her entire existence as a Smash character. No, it functioned in Melee. It just... It was attached it to kind off, It was attached it was, to a god-awful character. Yeah, but it was they were kind of sus. They, they would miss really weirdly sometimes. Not really. It worked because she moved the sweet spot into you. There's the sweet spot. It is such a good added like shield that. option. She moved it on right. On characters in. that it reaches on Rising Short Hop, it is so scary. It's so scary. I'm glad I play Short Boys. Yeah, Short Boys probably mess up Zelda on that alone. Like, you'd think me Sword Fighter's big, but he's not. He just has a big head. Is he dead? Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, it's you need to be off stage for to kill, like, It's kind of strong, though. It is. It has a really high base. It's similar to a... 
Greninja's back air in that sense, where you could die at 20 if you're far enough out, but you could also live at like 120 on the ledge. Another kick. Dash attack. These moves coming out from Zelda. Oh no, his the poor Phantom discarded into pieces. And let's see um, if Hugh can push any of this stock advantage he has right now. He has, man. Look at that beautiful 35. 35, 51. You were saying? All his damage is kicks. My he man just is. To kick him. Rob is sucking on some toes right now, bro. Nice. You see how long he stalled just to let that Phantom get moving? Very smart. Those stall is really good. He has some crazy mix when he does the like the up B like. Yes, if he saved on. it. Oh my God. Another one. If he saved his double jump, he can get some serious mix ups out because he can float down Those. there, then just jump up and yeah. throw something at you. Those are a kick magnet right now. Another one. All right, he's definitely dead off this. Yeah. Or you could no. just not mash. Sure. It, it almost, almost worked. Yeah. I think he was mashing just poorly. Oh okay. So no mesh would have, would have, but then that's where up smash works, right? Yes. Once again, the Phantom falling to bits. You could throw that out like right away, so I don't know why he chooses to hold on to it. Dill trying to bring this back a quick 54. Ooh, I like it, but he, that's he's going to put come. him right back off the stick. Trying to shoot him. Down air. Ooh, oh, just misses. Almost. Zelda moves. To, oh my god. No, you cannot nair. He won't stop kicking Every him. Every time he nairs, he's getting the feet. Oh, he's going for something. Ah, uh, jumps right wow, into it. Wow, that killed. Dill with a decent, with a first, why did I say decent? That was a good read. It was a really good read, yeah. Jump all the way up there. He was just mashing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dill has no reads, he just mashes. You're right. No. Ooh, nice. I like it. It's still pressure. It's it's making a statement. If he does enough of him, he could just bust a shield, honestly. Yeah, um, Hugh right, really falling way too far behind at this point. Rob Dill does likes playing his, with the lead. Dill does some of his best work with a stock lead. We've seen it time and again. But uh, evens it up with another kick. Too many kicks. That gyro will not cross the ledge. The ledge. You have to see. He Zelda gets has the a low. On the way back. Zelda has a low ledge hang. It didn't hit her. Just sitting there. That's good for him. Very good. Oh, here Especially we go. What's he gonna do? I, I thought he would have recognized that her his mash Ooh. was kind of sus by now. Oh, nice. Look how far down that hit. Oh my god. It was just because um, he grabs the ledge, right? And when you get hit, even though you're grabbing the ledge, you get like your hit stun animation. So it looks a no, lot. No, no. Yeah, this yeah. is not okay. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. No, okay, so we reached up. Look at it that. looks bad. It looks really bad, but I know the reason why. Yeah. Listen, I know the reason why. Zelda oh, so that didn't two frame? No, it did. It did. Yeah, it did. I know the reason why. But she why sticks her hand like this, so I know. she gets and, and then Zel it's, it Zelda comes Palutena down. and Wii Fit Trainer hold their hands above their heads when they're recovering. And but Wii the Fit, moment they get hit, they bring their hands back so down. So it looks kind of.